stone slabs out of a crater of the of Egypt and are now here among us. They're in the spirit world alongside of ours. They battle alongside of us. Some of us are destined to have really powerful weapons. But either way, as long as we believe in the heart of the cards, eventually, in times of crisis, that very spirit monster that's connected to us will be summoned. The Dark Magician. This is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dawn of Destiny. <laughs> Oh man, how's that for an epic intro? <laughs> Did not expect to do that intro today. Like, I didn't have that scripted or anything. I just kind of... <laughs> uh, anyway, let's go to triple here. So last time, guys, we had kind of a grind montage. Uh, I was grinding for Nobleman of Crossout, which you can get against this triple, triple three. Uh, unfortunately, as you guys saw, if you watch the grinding stuff, if not, oh well. We didn't get it, but uh, I'll keep trying. Um, now, we are on triple number 11. Now, the only new character on this triple is Yami Bakura. And um, yeah, so this triple is a little hard. You know, 4,000 for uh, Ishizu, Ishizu and Odeon each, and 6,000 for Yami Bakura. Yikes. Uh, out of the out of these three, I think Odeon's the easiest to face, but also your life points are only 8,000. So, ooh, and I just realized, I just realized I have the wrong deck for this. I have the fusion deck. Um, I need to change that. I told myself to, darn it, Josh, darn it. I told myself, like, before I even started this, uh, record on the camera, I told myself, like, hey, switch to the, the good deck, you know, the water deck before, because I'm pretty sure Yami, oh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll roll with this. Uh, side note, this is a good starting hand. Side note, this might be a bonus episode. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying, I do not have the right, uh, the right equipment. All right, but let's do this. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> oh, today's gonna be a good day, I can tell. Just from that intro alone. Okay, okay, well, at least we have giant true nade, so. Chain energy, not too big of a problem, honestly. As a matter of fact, I think I'll keep most of everything in my hand um, until I'm ready to just true nade and hmm, actually I can wipe the field. I could true nade, wipe the field. No, 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 not yet, not yet. Well, we got a good combo. What you got? Okay, okay. No widespread ruin. You cannot escape from my trap cards. Mm, that's gonna be a problem. Yeah. Okay. Man eater bus. Well, at least we got rid of it though. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, Odeon, and I'm fine with paying the five for Slate Warrior. We'll be fine as long as he doesn't summon his Slate Warrior in attack mode. But anyway, how are you guys doing today? Today is May the 16th, 2023. Yep. The time is currently... Uh, it just turned about 9.30 in the morning. Let's see. And uh, yeah, we're just chilling, playing some uh, Donna Destiny here. So... Uh, by the way, I didn't even realize... Oh, he did have White River. Darn. Well, hmm, not good. Okay. Change of plans here, change of plans. I don't want to pay a ton of ten life points for chain energy, so we'll pay the five for true nade, and I'm basically going to set everything. Yeah. Yep. Okay, change of plans, Odeon. I will summon this in attack. That way we avoid any trap holes. Plus we got Rush Reckless in that bad. Alright, so let's set the fort. Yep, looks like, I mean, looks like I had the hand to get a quick win, but no, 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 he just had the right. I guess I could have got some quick damage, but nah, you know. Even if I had right get you there instead of Dark Hole, maybe, but anyway. Yep, here comes Chain Energy. Slate Warrior, that's fine. Hmm. As a matter of fact, I think I'm willing to take the five. Just because I'll thin my deck. Hmm. And he didn't replay Chain Energy. Weird. Is the AI smart? Like, did he wise up and say, you know what? I don't want to pay 500 for all my stuff. Is that what's going on here? Because if it is... I never knew the AI could do that in this game. AI seems pretty, uh, 
not the brightest, shall we say, not, not the brightest crayon in the uh, crayon box. Alright, jar of green. Nice, nice. So I have the option to negate chain energy if I want. Hmm. Okay, let's set this. Mm, should I set a humanoid slime though? You know what? Let's attack first and ask questions later. What's this? Oh, Mask of Darkness. Okay. So that's gonna get widespread. Has he played Jar of Green? I don't think so. Probably get widespread. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright. But the good thing is, I know that's what that card is. So, hmm. We can work our way around that. Yes, yes. So I'll set humanoid slime. Okay. Your move, Odia. Alright. No, we're, we're still in a good spot here. Another slate for you. That's fine. Do, 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 do. Man, I love this music though. Alright. Another 500 down for us. That's nah, fine. Alright, and we'll get the third Mystic Tomato. Oh, I don't have the third one. Well, which it is then? Which it is? Okay. Still no chain energy. Good. Okay, but we know, we know, we know, we know. Ooh, can I have? Ooh. Problem is, we know he has a widespread ruin face down. So what I want to do for that is, well, actually, I don't. I thought about switching humanoid slime and just letting that take the ruin. And you know what? I'll, I'll still do that. I still think this is the better play. Um, you know, mainly because, you, as you guys know, and I've said this like probably at the start of this LP, but I'll say it again. The AI in this game does cheat. You know, they can see all your face down cards, uh, your face down monsters, they can see the stats. And so that's why most of the time you may be wondering, like, man, I keep setting these 2000 defenders, but the AI isn't aggressive. They're not attacking into it. Well, <laughs> that's why. Basically, the AI has the Millennium Eye for each character in this game, which it's pretty X, but yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned that before. Uh, also, I'm pretty sure the AI can see your set spells and traps because. Again, maybe this is just my experience, and it's a rare thing, but, uh, for some reason... Like, I noticed that whenever I said Magic Jammer, and, like, you guys have probably noticed this too, especially in some of the grinding episodes, you ever notice how, like, Yami Yugi's holding on to Raigeki? Or, or Seto Kaiba's holding on to Heavy Storm, even though you have four set spells and traps? But, like, let's say among those four set spells and traps, one of them's Magic Jammer, and for some reason, Kaiba has, like, Harpy's Feather Duster, Heavy Storm, and Dark Hole, but he just won't play it. Yeah, and I think the AI can see your face down cards, too. I mean, that's just, that's just a theory. A fan theory. And cut. No, no, but seriously. Yeah, like, and you see there, he attacks my strongest monster with Judgment, despite my, uh, Beast King being in defense mode. Kind of strange. Kind of strange choice, huh? Oh, it's because the AI can see your stats, and they go after the strongest monster you have at the time, not necessarily for damage, which is good for us, because we only have 600 attack. Now, now despite the uh, risk to my life points in this triple, I am going to take out Slate Warrior, because uh, it's funny, we can actually take it out with Witch, so yeah, Jar agreed, there's no surprise there. You can always escape my trump cards, yeah. No surprise there. Oh, yeah, go ahead. But I don't want him sacrificing again and having two sacrifice monsters on the field. Because uh, the AI, for whatever reason, they'll attack one turn with Slate Warrior, but not, you know, two or three in a row. So we'll get rid of Slate Warrior, make sure he can't sacrifice, and we'll end the turn there. We'll get back Jar of Greed with our Mask of Darkness. So. You're not the only one who has Jar of Greed, Odeon. Sacrificed again, this time to set. Pretty strange choice, Odeon. Pretty strange choice. Hmm, in fact, I've got a little combo for you. So unlike you, I'm going to use my Mask of Darkness first before tributing it for my judgment. Okay, and because he sacrificed for that, we're going to play Dark Hole. I bet you it's like a Millennium Shield or Labyrinth Roll or something. Because why would you not attack there? Mm-hmm. 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 All right, with which, we're going to get a direct attack in here. So I'm actually going to take Cannon Soldier, because we may be able to uh, 
cowboy for game. I mean, soldier for game. So, okay, yeah, and just to show you guys, it was indeed Millennium Shield. All right, late warrior. No need to worry. It's just Jarvgree. He's got face down. We know this. What? He didn't play it. Uh oh. Uh, is there another card he has face down here? I'm kind of worried now. Oh. Wow, the AI, the AI tricked me. I never thought I'd be able to say that in this game, but well, it's a good thing I attacked anyway, because he did take Jar of Greed back, right? Yeah, but he didn't set it right away. Whoa. Unless I just was talking and totally blanked, he didn't set Jar of Greed right away. The AI is impressing me today. All right, well, either way, that dark hole is worth it, so, uh, Primo, oh, well, Judgment? Yeah, okay, okay, I was kind of worried, but no, 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 we have rushed recklessly, so this is fine. Okay, declared battle. All right. Yeah, <laughs> take this, Odeon. Counter-attack, new to punch. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so he lost a total of 1,200 damage that turn, 8 for Premature Burial, and ah, there's the Chain Energy. Too little, too late, Odeon, too little, too late. Alright, because he'll get back 400 points next turn, but uh, I don't think it's going to be enough, Odeon. Go, Jar of Greed. Alright, so Odeon played... And does he still have Jar of Greed in his hand? What? There's no way, right? Uh... Man, I probably should have Magic Gym or Chain Energy, uh, just so I could win, you know, right now, just to make sure, but it's okay. I'm not going to set any cards, remember, and the triples, you got other people to face down the line, so, you know, got to be a little, uh, well, you don't have to be conservative, but I encourage you to be down to 50. Mm. <sighs> what are the odds? That's a man eater bug, huh? Or a Cyber Jar. Pretty high, I'd say. All right. Sleep the waiter. The punch. Oh, good. It's Jar of Greed. I mean, Masked. <laughs> no, he's going to get Jar of Greed. I can see the future. Oh. Odeon, you're impressing me today, buddy. You're highly impressing me today. Mixing it up. You know, taking cards you normally never take. Not using Jar of Greed right away. I'm impressed. All right, we win. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Do do I deserve to be punished? Well, no one deserves that, bro. Like, what are you even talking? Oh, maybe he's referring to the story of the uh, the anime. Yeah. All right, Ishizu, what have you got? You are destined to experience defeat at my hands, and no one can deny their fate. For I have seen the future. I have come to tell you because shut up. All right. Kind of a weird message, but uh. I hear you, Shizu. I hear you loud and clear. Oh, by the way, uh, <laughs> fun fact about this character and some of her cards. Well, not necessarily some of the cards she uses in this game, but some of the cards she uses in Nightmare Troubadour, like her Earth Fairy stuff, like, uh, hmm, she probably has Trap Hole, but you know what? This is too tempting. This is too tempting. And we have Cyber Jar back in this up. But some of her cards she uses in Nightmare Troubadour, like uh, the Earth Fairy stuff, like, you know, Ludora, Ajito, Keldo, um, I think I'm missing one, uh, Ajito, Keldo, Zolga, yeah, yeah, all those cards, um, in between my last, uh, episode of commentary and this episode, yeah, in the, uh, real game, uh, we're gonna set some cards here. In the real game, uh, all of her, you know, Earth Fairies have actually gotten recent support, uh, both in the TCG uh, and now in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Pretty cool stuff, and their effects are nothing <laughs> like they were in uh, 2002, you know. Uh, oh, I forgot to play Solemn Wishes, darn it. That's okay, that's okay. Uh, yeah, because in 2002, like, her effects were, like, Zolga, you could tribute it for a tribute summon, and then Zolga would give you 2,000 points. Uh, Gido, you could, like, roll a dice or something? Yeah, and then, um, 
summon back a fairy if you happen to land on the right result from your graveyard. From one through six. Uh, you couldn't summon six and higher. Uh, well, we only take 100 damage there, so... The problem, though, is that she gained uh, 1,200, but better for her to gain 1,200 than, like, 19 from Horse Raider, right? <laughs> right. Uh, but yeah, yeah, uh, her cards have gotten a lot of recent support. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, I've tried some of them out in Master Duel, and <laughs> it's funny because all of the effects, uh, really epic part of the music there. All of the effects of the, uh, the retrained Ishizu cards. Ooh, okay, if we can get Beast King, we'll be looking pretty good here. Uh, but all of the effects of the retrained, uh, Ishizu Ishtar cards. Nice. We beat it. Ray and Temperature. Oh, look, it's the sun from Super Mario World 3. Don't swoop down and attack me, please. Uh, we'll set for good reading, my dude. That's the best stat and monster we've gotten so far in this duel. Oh, I should have done that. I forgot to have Cyber Jar. It's okay. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, all of her uh, retrain cards. Uh oh. Oh, it's just Dark Witch. It's fine. Uh, they they all have the uh, shared effect to uh, meal, uh, aka send cards from the decks to the graveyards. Um, whenever they're sent to the graveyard. So, uh, most of them can meal, uh, five cards, but a few of them, you know, uh, also a lot of them share the effect to, oh, we can actually take this out, that's funny. Wow, that was a heart of the cards, thanks, Slate Warrior. Don't have Trap Hole? Okay. Don't have Mirror Wall or Mirror Force? Oh god, we're looking good. I guess she has Numinous Healer? Numinous Healer? No! Ishizu, girl, what you, what you what you got back there? You got nothing. I guess it's just Bluff City back there. Um, but yeah, they also not only have the ability to mill. Um, also now her cards, the retrains. A lot of them have the ability to shuffle back. Yeah, kind of a weird card effect. The ability to shuffle back cards that are like if they like let's let's say the retrain Agito is in the graveyard, right? And I'm not saying this is how it works in the TCG. I'm just giving an example. Uh, at any time, you know, as a quick effect, <laughs> which is pretty broken. Um, when, when I finish my sentence, as a quick effect, it, while it's in the graveyard. Oh, Dark Elf. Well, at least she's gonna start losing points. Oh no, darn it. Uh, but as a quick effect, while, well, like, if the Gideon was in the graveyard, at any time, you can, like, return, uh, banish Gido while it's in the graveyard, and then return, like, up to five cards from the graveyard to the deck. So let's say your opponent just plays, like, Monster Board or something. You're like, um, oh, I got Gido in the graveyard. Effect. You know, I chain it as a quick effect. And you're just like, dude, what the heck? They took out the monster I was gonna reborn. I will set this. Sucks to get rid of my Dark Hole, though. Ooh. Uh, but yeah, like, and like I said, all of them, all of them have that shared, uh, oh, nice. Are we going to get five monsters off of Cyber Jar? I uh, don't know. Okay. Pretty close, though. Four? Not bad. Yeah, pay those life points, girl. But yeah, yeah, not, yeah, yeah, and like, all of them have the ability to shuffle back. That's crazy, man. It's crazy. Uh, yes. So, uh, yeah. We'll take, you know what? Um... We'll take Witch. That way I can search for something to get rid of that Dark Elf. Hmm? May not have to search after all. We're gonna draw five cards. The good part about this is we're gaining a lot of the life points we lost against Odeon. So I have Solemn Wishes out. The bad part is we just filled her hand with resources and helped her dump um, Marie the Fallen in there. So she's gonna be gaining life points, you know. Darn. Can I play Backup Soldier? Oh, thank God. No, no, no. Hey, I have Magic Jammer. Should I jam this? Yes, I should. Because we've got Yami Bakura still to face on the triple. So let's toss... Masaki. Yeah, you're not getting rid of my Solemn Wishes. I think that'll be worth it. Uh, but what was I saying about the Ishizu cards? Um... Oh, right, we got the other morphing jar. Let me let me pay attention to the game. I almost just... I was thinking about just ending my turn with all these cards in my hand, but no, 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 no. 
we're gonna have another jar, so I need to set as much as possible. Okay, and now that we've done it, actually, let's flip it ourselves. Well, should we? What if she gets torrential? Mm -hmm. Ah, screw it. We'll be fine. Okay. Oh man, we dumped another Marie of the Fallen into our graveyard. Ooh, but we got another. See, that's what I was wanting. That's what I was hoping for. I was hoping, like, man, maybe we can draw the other Solemn Wishes. And we did. Great. Great. Okay. We're looking good now, so let's just attack her uh, 2,000 defense point monster. Aww. Eh. I'm kind of upset, but kind of not. Actually, this is really good for us, you know, that she played it, you know, right away. Because, you know, we only took 1,100 damage instead of... We could have taken way more damage. You know, like 19 or so. So, or even 26 with the uh, Gaia the Dragon Champion. But, yeah, that could have been worse. That could have been worse. It could have been better. Could have been worse, you know. She's going to switch to uh, Forgiving Me to Defense Mode now, though, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Who could have seen that, Kevin? All right, all right. Well, you saw the wishes here. At least, like I said, we're still in a good spot. We're still in a good spot. Please attack with your Dark Elf and lose like this. Uh, let's take... Ooh, should I take Curse of Dragon? Hmm, or should I? There are monsters I could sacrifice for it. Nah, let's just take Slate Warrior. I'm sure she'll be too afraid to attack uh, Slate Warrior with uh, Dark Elf because, you know, she knows the effect, you know. Alright, let's gain another thousand. Uh, but yeah, yeah, the Ishizu cards, crazy stuff. The, the retrain one, crazy. Crazy how they all have uh, effects to mill to the graveyard and effects to basically control what's in the graveyard and shuffle stuff back into the deck. You know, especially if you played just this game or whatever, like, you, let me tell you guys, you know, I play this game a lot and just based on the video games that I have played, I never in my life... <laughs> thought <laughs> that I would see an effect to, I mean, milling stuff from the graveyard, yeah, there always has been effects, you know, like, um, like, a needle, uh, uh, needle worm, you know, effects to mill stuff from your opponent's deck, no, no, but this mills from both decks, oh, she's got so much, she's okay, but yeah, that's the other thing about the retrain of Shizu cards, no, 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 they don't just mill from, um, from, um, your deck. Ooh, should I take Backup Soldier? Maybe I should. I'm pretty sure I tossed... I should have checked this before, but let me check my graveyard. I'm pretty sure I tossed... Uh, yeah, Gigatech Wolf. That's one, two, three. Nice! We have plenty. I'll probably just take back all the fusion materials. Let's MST that uh, Solemn Wishes. I was really just waiting to use this on something... You know... Yeah, because you're close. We don't want you to uh, gain points. Oh, oh, and second thought. Let's use this on Life Absorbing Machine. Because she was going to gain back to uh, 500. Because she attacked with Dark Elf last turn. Yeah, good idea, Josh. Good idea. Okay. Anyway, let's attack now. But yeah, I never in my life, life you know, like milling cards of the graveyard from the decks. You know, that's kind of normal, that's kind of normal. We even see that around this area of Yu-Gi-Oh! But I never thought in my life I'd ever see a card effect in this game that controls the graveyard, that, you know, shuffles back cards that are in the graveyard into the decks. You know, on a quick effect of that. Like, you know, like, I can understand, you know, but well, let me correct myself. You know, Pot of Avarice was a thing, you know. It, that's been around since the GX area, era, so, you know, Shuffling your own monsters into the deck, you know, yeah, that's, you know, and Transmiguration Prophecy, you know, there have been some cards, you know, that, that shuffle cards back into the deck, but specifically, well, I guess Transmigration and Prophecy can do both, but usually your deck, you know, for the most part, it's going to heavily favor shuffling cards back into your own deck, you know, that I understand, that's acceptable, but, uh, I, like I said, I never thought I'd see cards that on a crit effect 
and that's what gets me about it all. It's not so much the shuffling part, that's fine. And that's new, and that's innovative, and that's cool, but what gets me is that, no, 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 it's both gra players' graveyard, you can control your opponent's graveyard, and it's on a quick effect. It's just like, what in the Sam Hill, what were they thinking on that one, you know? I should have set Mystic Tomato, because maybe we get Cannon Soldier. Speaking of Cannon Soldier, is it in our graveyard already? Okay, I, ha I haven't really been paying that close attention, so I thought we might have uh, sent it with uh, uh, more danger. So, just had to check. I need a drink. Hmm. Been rambling nonstop about the Ashizu cards, but that's good though. Darn, she didn't attack with Dark Elf. I was hoping she would and just, you know, basically end the game. Well, speaking of ending the game, I think this will basically end the game right here. Royal Decree, shut down all of her traps. Yeah, should I wait to attack? Yeah, let's wait to attack. <laughs> uh, I'll set Tomato. Yeah, because I don't want anything... Uh, well, she is going to gain... No, no, she didn't attack last turn, so she's not going to gain any life points. Yeah, yeah. It's fine, Ishizu. Mmm. Okay, now she might be okay with attacking Slate Warrior. So that's what she had face down the whole time. Ah. Uh, I see. I see, Ishizu. Mmm. Going after humanoid slime, huh? Big mistake. Big mistake, buddy. You shouldn't have paid those life points. And I'll gladly show you why, Ishizu. Alright, so let's gain the thousand. Oh! Dude, and here's what I was gonna do. I was gonna flip Mystic Tomato, attack into this, and then Cowboy, I mean Cannon Soldier for game, main phase two. But dude, I don't even have to do that now. Royal Decree, girl. Heh, <laughs> your trap cards are useless. Eh, go Royal Decree, negate everything. Eh, take that, Shizu. And now I summon my Cannon Soldier in attack mode. Heh. <laughs> and now, Cannon Soldier, I activate your effect. Launch my Mask of Darkness into her life points. <laughs> that was some heart of the cards right there. Oh, we breezed right through those two. Mainly because I was talking about the Ishizu cards. Ah, this is impossible. How did you change the future? This is the future. I am the future. Get out. All right, guys. And actually, I know this is kind of a bit of a cliffhanger. And I was planning for this only to be one part. But that second duel against the Ishizu did take quite a bit of time. So we're actually going to... And Yami Bakura... Yeah, yeah. We're going to start next episode uh, by taking on Yami Bakura. All right, but uh, thank you guys all for joining me. Hope you discussed this, uh, you know, Ishizu card discussion. That's basically what it was. And, you know, uh, but yeah, start of Triple Eleven. Uh, yeah, oh, oh and uh, yeah, we will be, uh, you know, much like in all the other triples, you know, putting Yami Bakura at the end, and then the next triple will put Ishizu at the end and Odeon at the end. Uh, as I said, I think it's just my own superstition, but I'm pretty sure that uh you know if a character repeats in a triple if you put them at the end it does like update their deck you know it does like you know or if it doesn't update their deck it definitely makes it seem like they draw their better cards more often you know what i mean because <laughs> there have been some duels against yugi like especially in the very beginning i'm like man his cards are trash but then you put him at triple six you put him at the end all of a sudden this guy's drawing mirror force magic cylinder it's just like what you know but uh, yeah, sorry for the rambling. Actually, I'm not sorry. That's part of Let's Playing. Uh, you guys are here for the commentary, and, uh, I have provided that today. Okay, and if you like the commentary, uh, fun fact, I'm in every episode that has commentary on this channel. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Feel free to subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. And, you know, feel free to leave a like, comment, uh, and I'll see you guys all next time. Until then, take care of yourselves and each other. Have a good day.
And the good part is we have 8,500 life points to take on Yami Bakura. It's pretty good. 